What's up, fuckers? Welcome back. This is another one of Huggy's Foul Beer Reviews. And yes, this is not just a swill video, this is actually a review. A foul fucking beer review because this just has all the ingredients, all the necessary components to be a foul fucking beer. So even though we're gonna swill it, we're also gonna review Natty Daddy. That's right. I'm doing this fucking review because this is actually a new product in the marketplace. This is this is new from the from the evil geniuses at Anheuser Busch. And when I say genius, I mean genius like in marketing and making crappy products, not genius in any kind of good way. Um, this is Natty Daddy. This is a 24 ounce tall can of 8% alcohol by volume lager brewed with natural lights, all natural ingredients. So basically they, they, they put uh, natural light, they put Natty on steroids, juice it up to, uh, it up to 8% ABV, threw it in a tall can and sold it for cheap to compete with all those products coming out of La Crosse, Wisconsin and all that Four loco shit and all that Camo shit and all that Earthquake and yeah, Natty Daddy. Anheuser-Busch's newest malt liquor. And even though it doesn't say it anywhere on here, this is considered and categorized as a fucking malt liquor. So this is a malt liquor video along with a beer review, along with a foul beer review, along with a swollen video, and along with a video to make a fucking point. Now, I got my Hurricane Wings glass that unfortunately says Budweiser on the other side. I'm gonna pour some of that shit in there, give it a review, and then just drink the rest. And I wanna talk about what's going on. Before I crack it, I'll let you know where I'm going with this, okay? Apparently, and you know, I don't watch as many videos as I'd like um, because I'm a busy guy, I got stuff to do, and I just don't have time to catch up on, you know, all the videos being put out by the members of the YouTube drinking community, whether it be the malt liquor swillers or the fucking craft beer guys or the motherfuckers that are in that in-between limbo like me. Um, and there ain't too many of us. Uh, but apparently some shit has been said and there's kind of a, a, a war controversy back and forth hoopla bullshit going on. Um, you know, some people are leaving comments, some people are responding with videos. You know, it's like the craft beer guys and the homebrew guys against the malt liquor people because of a bunch of fucking dumbasses who have a kooky sense of humor. A bunch of fucking dumbasses who are just dumbasses. And a bunch of dumbasses who can't take a fucking joke. 40 on Sphere already covered this in his long ass video that was very well spoken and, you know, he said what needed to be said. But I'm still gonna touch on that fucking base because Huggy is the king of beers on YouTube. I'm going to give you some Natty Daddy and I'll be back later tonight with a fucking craft beer and I'm uploading both videos today. I digress. Get right to the fucking beer. That's the whole point of this. I wanted to review this because it's, it's the newest swill on the block, but I also wanted to touch on that bullshit. Every beer has its place, motherfucker. I just got out of work. I want something cold with a good level of alcohol in it, a little fizz, you know, a little refreshing, that kind of thing. And Natty Daddy is the kind of beer that would fit that bill. Later on, after I relax, maybe after dinner, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want a craft beer, something with flavor, you know? Something I can sit and enjoy. Because you can't sit and enjoy this. Um, for the record, it's crystal fucking clear. It's a light pea color. You know, it's not like a dark pea. It's not like, you know, weed head pea. You know, people who do drugs and eat a lot of McDonald's have some yellow fucking pea. This is, this is athletic pee. This is someone who drinks a lot of water and doesn't have a lot of toxins in their body. It's fucking clear, guys, okay? It has that high alcohol malt liquor sweetness. Corn-ish, veggie, nasty, adjuncty, fizzy. Yeah, natty daddy. And how's your boys? They brought us King Cobra. They brought us Hurricane. They brought us Hurricane High Gravity. And now they bring us Natty Daddy. God help us. To be completely fair here, reviewing this for what it is, a malt liquor, an 8% ABV beer, 
it has less alcohol sweetness than the other eight percenters. And I'm talking about Steel Reserve 8%, 8.1. I'm talking about Hurricane High Gravity, which is 8.1. And I'm talking about Schlitz VSL Gold Bowl, which is 8.5. All of those are sweeter. There's a higher sweetness to it because that's what you get when you get an 8% alcohol by volume. So this for 8% is not as sweet as those. And it's fizzy and carbonated and kind of reminds me of a natural ice. Matter of fact, it kind of smells like a sweeter natural ice. And it has a crappy Budweiser aftertaste. Yeah, no more glass. Let's do this right. Because let's face it, guys, this is small liquor. This is, this is swill, this is cheap beer, this is bum juice. This is unappealing. But you know what, if you only got 250 in your pocket and you want to catch a buzz and it's hot outside and you just got out of work, you know, you're in that kind of situation. You know, maybe you just finished a couple games, you know, full quarters, half court, whatever, at the park and there's a gas station across the street. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. So, in that fucking light, cheers fuckers. For a malt liquor, this thing is inoffensive. You don't taste the alcohol, it's not that sweet, it's not overly carbonated. Even the aftertaste isn't that nasty. This is just tame, even by Budweiser's nasty lame standards. If they have any standards. By the way, I'm gonna be bringing you guys Bud Light Platinum when I get my hands on that shit, cause they really got some balls on this one. Regular Bud Light is 4.2%. Budweiser's now come out with Bud Light Platinum. It's 6% alcohol by volume. It has a fuckload more calories and a fuckload more carbs than Bud Light. It technically is no longer any kind of light beer, and yet they still have the balls to call the shit Bud Light Platinum. There is like two, three generations, I call it two generations of, of men in this country that have been brainwashed, brainwashed. To think light beer is what men drink. You're an athlete, you're a tough guy, you're a manly man, you drink Bud Light. Really, a manly man is gonna drink a pussy ass beer that has low alcohol, low flavor, low carbs and low calories because he's on a diet. Really, that's what men drink? Really? I mean, if you're gonna go that route, market malt liquor as the man's drink. At least it fits the bill, it tastes like shit, it gets you drunk. That's manly shit, right? This, this, this is more manly and more tough guy yeah, and more, you know, MMA, WWF, you know, uh, football linebacker quality than Bud Light, 4.2%. It has low calorie. I know I'm rambling, but I, that shit just pisses me off. It's the greatest marketing deception of, of, of my generation. And it started way before my generation. Go fucking figure it. Ah, oh, I'm probably running long. Fuck it. When I first heard of Natty Daddy, I thought it was a joke. And <laughs> I cannot believe that Budweiser actually fucking marketed a fucking malt liquor named Natty Daddy. But then again, Natural Ice and, you know, Natural Light are really like good old boy bum beers and shit, so... I guess, I guess, yeah. And I love it. <laughs> natural Light's all natural ingredients. Yeah, just because they're natural doesn't mean they're correct. I mean, that doesn't mean they're good. Things can be natural and crappy. Mm -hmm. Nature produces shit. I know a lot of people that fall into that category. I'd be drinking faster, but I had chili for lunch, and it's still sitting right here. Yeah. It's 
good chili though. Or basically it came out of a can. I try to avoid canned stuff, canned chili, canned meats, but it's good chili. Especially with cheese and avocado. Usually eat my chili with sour cream, but I didn't want to take sour cream to work. Ah, yeah, what's my time there? Ah, we're over 10, all right. <sighs> that was a natty daddy burp for your ass. Ugh. All right, <clears throat> let me see if I can hurry up and kill this shit, and I'll be back tonight with some shit that the craft beer douchebags out there, because there's a lot of them, and just the regular, you know, the regular guys, the craft beer aficionados, will will appreciate. God knows nobody can appreciate this shit except the poor motherfucker looking to get buzzed. kills me with a lot of fucking mainstream fucking macro commercial ass beers like Budweiser products and Miller products and shit is that so many people fucking are so die hard they live and they, they live and breathe that shit and they get offended when I say it's crap it's made but it's made with shitty ingredients it's mass produced with shitty ingredients really and you think that's good for you you think that's just good period really I say that because I got a, two back-to-back -back comments on uh, my Michelob, it was a Golden Draft light review that I did several months ago, and both, both commenters said, I'm full of crap, this is the greatest beer. Really? Supposed to show how little you know, it's like saying a Ford Fiesta is the greatest car ever. My Hyundai Sonata is the best car ever made. Little golden draft light is more like a fucking Ford Tempo. Chew on that. <sighs> Hate these big ass cans, they always dribble. Always end up fucking on with all this shit. But, anyways, my opinion on that, you daddy. Well, I don't suggest anybody ever buy an Anheuser-Busch product and support a crappy company. Um, it's actually less offensive than some of the other 8 percenters out there, so take that, take that as you want, and I'm the fuck out of here. Later, fuckers, and stay tuned for a real beer.